You really don't know your limit what you can do until you try for it. There is a really thin line between success and failure, and you are the person who have to cross that line. I'm Nazneen. I'm working as a Marie Curie PhD student in biomedical optics at the Advanced Optical Imaging Group of University College Dublin. So I'm focusing on the human eye. Myopia is the case where the eye grows too much. By 2050, half of the world population will be myopic. So yeah, this is very alarming. And my project is actually not to cure myopia, but to understand better which can, which can cause myopia. So I really enjoy working in the lab and I do measurements on real human eye. So the whole process is really lively. I come from a middle class family of Bangladesh. Uh, growing up as a single kid, I will say I was privileged enough, but uh, also there was lots of expectation from my parents. For school, it was like, if 40 students are boys, then maybe five or six students are girls. So the ratio wasn't even close to equal. The girls were like more serious than the boys. We were very focused on academic life and we had that passion. We come that far, so we have to go even farther. I really enjoyed science, the idea of science, knowing things, discovering new things. I remember I never enjoyed studying literature, but uh, science I find is like a wonderland for me. In my country, it's like if you are becoming a doctor and engineer, so there are good job opportunities and it's really a ca good career choice. But if you are choosing pure subjects like physics, chemistry, people really don't appreciate that much because there is not really so good job market. If you're a woman, people expect you to get married, raise kids, so this is the normal scenario. I really wanted to do some real research work, so that's one of the reasons I was applying abroad. I think my father was very open about it. He told me like, if you want to go, I'm okay with it. But my mom was actually very scared. Uh, about thinking uh, that I'll be living all alone in a foreign country. I was interested to come to Dublin because I find it more multicultural and I find the group very diverse. So I think a great physicist can come from any background or society. It is important to go at different places because it's brought in your horizon. You think differently, you learn differently. I'm more mature as a person, as a physicist. Uh, just because I li leave my country, I had different experience, so it makes you a, even a better person. Because if you have a problem, there is not just one way to solve it. There could be a hundred different ways. And people from different backgrounds, they bring different ideas and uh, different culture. In, we really can't think about a better world without considering half of the world population who are women.